the most everything you know on for, for the LTM you know because the F5 is basically meant for the load balancing right and if we have the servers which is the internal servers and the F5 is taking you know getting the traffic it sends the traffic one by one you know by default it sends if you have a four you know uh, if you have a four servers right Hang on. right and if the client is sending request the request comes here right and then one by one the traffic sends first traffic here the second one here third flow here and fourth here and again the fifth sixth seventh eighth right <coughs> so the so the big happy ltm systems offer many load balancing methods right and based on that there are basically two types of you know if i talk about the load balancing mode there are two types of load balancing modes right uh, one is the static right the static one is we call as a round robin and a ratio right in the dynamic load balancing method we talk about the least connection fastest observed predictive dynamic ratio and in the failure mechanism we talk about the priority group activation and a fallback host these are the failure mechanism you know it's just we if, if, if we relate it from the network's point of view we, we say as a redundancy <coughs> suppose if our one of the group fails down the traffic will go to the second one right Okay, so let's talk about you know one on one uh, methods. First, we will talk about the static one, right? Yeah. And the static one will talk about the round robin method. Okay. Yeah. So in the round robin method, what happens when a client sends some traffic, right? And when and 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 when a F five receives it sends one traffic here second one here third one here on a round robin basis and then fifth six seven eight so one one oh one you know the traffic is sent to the each of the servers right so if, if if i talk about as a definition point of view the client requests are distributed evenly or we can say that the round robin mode distributes the connections evenly across available members right I, I i am pointing on the evenly across available members that means the servers which are available right that means yesterday we talked about the monitors right and in monitors what we said there are some of the you know methods through which the f5 knows that which of the my you know pool members or pool members are available right icmp test content checking right service checking so monitors also works here <coughs> so based on the monitor reports uh, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we go for the round robin method the this method distributes traffic across members based on you know available available members sorry right and this mode is useful for even distribution of the traffic that means it sends a traffic equally right every pack you know if, see every server has a two types of traffic right so you got the how the round robin works <coughs> okay great so let's talk about the you know ratio uh, the another one uh, ratio uh, method which is the all which is the uh, you know uh, the static method the right so in the ratio you know uh, uh, method what we do we you know puts a ratio on each of the server based on the capabilities and the uh, you know hardware capabilities and its processing capabilities of the server right suppose here if we talk about in this diagram this server one is having a ratio three that means it can receive and process the three traffics right second one two first one uh, you know for third one one and fourth one one right so when a traffic comes right it comes here it sends to here right again it comes here it will send here 
again it will come here it will send here so first three traffic will be received by server one only so see here so what happens when a traffic comes first traffic comes here right second traffic comes here third traffic comes here fourth traffic comes here and that and then again the fifth one comes here the sixth one comes here why because this server can take right two of the connections right and then and then when a third traffic comes here it goes to here so the traffic is distributed based on the ratio numbers right right so we can say that the in the ratio mode the ratio mode distributes new connections you can write it down the yeah. ratio mode distribute new connections across again here i will i will say that the available members right connections yeah. across available members in the portion yeah in the proportion to a user defined ratio that means we are when we when we do the configuration we will we will define the ratio right so what happens when a packet comes when a traffic comes it distributes the traffic as per round robin method it will also keep a track record that which of the server has a highest ratio so that it will sense a traffic as per round robin method in a highest ratio method right 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 so what it means is although you know firstly so this method you know why this method is was you know uh, created so this method was created when you have a different servers of a different capacity right suppose server 1 is having having higher capacity so server 2 is of le some what less capacity server 3 and server 4 are of very less capacity which having a less cpu less memory less hard disk right so it works well when your pool members have a different capacity Got it. Correct. Yeah. So these are the two methods which we talk, you know, about uh, uh, on the static one. So static contains round robin and and the ratio one, right? Okay. Now yeah. we'll talk about the <clears throat> dynamic dynamic one. Yeah. Yeah, dynamic one. Yeah. So if we talk about the dynamic one, we have the least connection. Yeah. right so what do you mean by least connection so least connection means yeah, yeah, yeah those servers which has a least, least number of connections available right that means the new request will always go to the device the new request will go to the device with the fewest open connections right that means it yeah. has already yeah. processed a more one so if i talk about what will happens <coughs> Suppose I have a I have a four connections right four fifty nine four sixty four sixty one and four seventy it's an outstanding one and, and and the connection states of these servers are this one right now yeah. when a packet comes right when a packet uh, you know comes to the F five F five sees that which of the server having least connections available right so it will send a packet and it will see that okay the server one is having four fifty nine so I will send it to so my first packet will come here now when it comes here the pack, the connections number become 460 right now when a second pack second packet comes when a second packet comes here again it will follow the round robin so it will say that okay i have a two server which is having 460 462 let's send the server packet to to here and when a third packet comes here it will send a packet to here yeah right <laughs> yeah. so what will happen it will have first packet 460 then it will have a 461 it will have a 461 right so now we have a servers having 461 here 461 here 461 here right now when again another packet comes it will see that okay I have a three servers let's send a packet to this one right again a packet comes here it will send a packet to uh, second server again a packet comes here it will send a packet to third one right so it will become 462 462 462 like that right so this is how the least connections works right again 
So what it means is, Alok, if I understand it correctly, just like the, the way the static ratio scenario where Ron Robin will be there, will be, will, will be part of that. Likewise, zero yeah. to all these connections. Once the least connections, the initial traffic will hit the will hit the least busy server. But after that, you know, um, in what you call round robin works, if the if the number of packets crossing are same between two servers. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So round robin anyway comes into the picture. Exactly. Yeah, round robin comes into the picture. Right. So you can write it, you know, if you, if you want to have some, I can. So the least connection method yeah. distributes yeah. new connections yeah. across available members based on current connection count between big IP system and a server. Current current uh, sessions, yeah, connections rather. Connections, connections between, count between, count yeah, between count, yeah, between count. big IP systems and a server and the servers. Yeah. Right. If the multiple yeah. device, yeah, all currently have same member of connections. Yeah. Exactly. The traffic is distributed across them in a round robin pattern, as we saw here. Yeah. yeah. Correct? Yeah. So now you are well aware what is the least connection, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. When a packet comes here, it goes to server one, right? Then it's become 460. And then a second packet comes here. It again goes to 460. Why? Because a round robin method and a third packet goes to second server, right? So 461, 461, 461. All these three servers are now 461. So now new packet comes here. It will send to obviously server one. So four, five, six goes to server one, server two, and server three, right? So write it down or, uh, you know, if you want to think, yeah, you, can, yeah. you can process yeah, yeah. it. No, no, exactly. You know, yeah, I'm just writing it down. One second, mate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, let's go. Four, six, four. Okay. So one, two comes here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got it, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, now comes the fastest method. Yeah. Right? So what is the, you know, uh, fastest method, you know, uh, what is the fastest, uh, you know, this term, you know, uh, say in, in the terms of F5. So if, if we talk about what is this method, this, this is the, this counts, uh, next request goes to a member, the next request goes to the member with the fewest outstanding layer 7 request, right, right. which is having right the fewest outstanding layer 7 request that right. means the the server which has you know uh, which has processed uh, you know which, which is the which is which is having very fast you know processing nature right obviously right. then right. it has a fewest outstanding layer 7 request so those requests which are layer 7 request right and if you are using a fastest method then it will the traffic will send the F5 will send a traffic to the server which is having a fewest outstanding layer 7 request, right? Yes, yes. So again, the same thing happens here, right? When a traffic comes here, it goes here, right? Now, the F5 knows the status of each of the server. That server 1 having 10 requests, 10 requests, 10 requests, and 17 requests. That means these three servers are the having the fewest outstanding layer 7 request but they have but they have a same count right so again if they have a same count then the round robin comes into the picture right though the first packet will come here right second packet will go here third packet will go here fourth one go here fifth one go here sixth one go here likewise it goes here till the time it's 17 it's 17 it's 17 and it has 17 then again the packet will suppose it's count number 18 so 18 comes here 19 comes here 20 comes here and 20 then 21 comes here right right yeah yeah 
so you can write it down yeah the fastest method distributes new connections yeah yeah to the member or a node <coughs> that currently has fewest yeah. outstanding layer 7 requests yeah right when a connection request is received yeah. the member with the fewest outstanding request is chosen yeah right yeah. now if the associated virtual server obviously the your traffic will hits the picture on uh, you know hits here on a virtual server ip external ip right so if the associated virtual server doesn't have a tcp and a layer 7 profile why it's a tcp it needs a tcp and a layer 7 profile because it works on a layer 7 request and obviously if a layer 7 request then a tcp session must be done so the your virtual server must have a tcp and a layer 7 profile right so if the associated virtual server doesn't have both tcp and a layer 7 profile ltm cannot track the request and responses and right. the load balancing right. and the load balancing will fail can I, can I track requests and responses yes and the load balancing will fail and it will fall back to least connection method which we talked about earlier that means uh, when it's a fail the fastest load balancing will fail yes and it will it will it will fall back to least connection method which we talked about earlier exactly then it will fall back to fall back to least connection connection method method yeah. okay okay now let's see so the first comes sec first second third goes here four fifth goes there right <clears throat> okay now now we talk about the least session uh the first one is least connection so what's the difference now we're talking least sessions not least yeah. connections no no not least connections okay right so here you know your the, the main concept uh, let me move here so you're in the least connections the new request or the next request goes to the member with the fewest existing persistence record right which has fewer persistence Exist, existing persistence record persistence means as i told you earlier uh, you know in the last class that when a when a when a client sends a packet right if, if and if you have enabled the persistence it will send to the same client you know same server mm -hmm. right based on the based on the source uh, you know um, client uh, ip address right so if so what happens when a when a traffic comes here right and 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 when the traffic comes to the f5 right the f5 distributes new connections to the member based on current persistence record right associated with that member what is the current persistence record to that member right this method you know results in round robin performance right so i think once you got to know what's the persistence method uh, you know what's the persistence is then only it will be easier to understand but anyway i can you know say that in, in this way i can say that suppose if you have enabled a virtual server and and a persistence is you know enabled here obviously this this f5 suppose this has a ip address suppose 2.2.10.10.2 and this has ip address uh, you know 143.10.10.3 right when a traffic comes here it sends it, it reaches to the you know virtual server and a first time it sends here right now when a second traffic comes to this one again it will it, it comes here 
obviously this virtual server you have enabled the persistence so that means it will it will have a persistence record that for 202.10.10.2 i have a send a traffic to server 1 right it will see that okay i have the persistence persist, persistence record the second traffic will come again here right so that because in the persistence what you do you sends a same client ip request uh, ip address you know request to the same internal server right we, when we talked about if we, if you will not do some carting methods or you know banking uh, if you are doing some transaction it will it will it will create some problem right now now when this when suppose this client sends a request it will see that okay and when this traffic comes to the f5 right f5 will see that okay i have a persistence record of this server right but i don't have a persistence record of a, this server right so this server has no persistence existing persistence record so this traffic will come here so in this least connection when a traffic comes to the f5 f5 will check which server has a least existing persistence record and based on that it will sense it but again the method will be round robin right, right? so suppose the two servers are having a same existing persistence persistence record this the, the traffic will be sent to first uh, you know server and then to second one exactly right, right? so Okay, okay, yeah. So you can write it down. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So least session distributes new yeah. connection to members yeah. based on current persistence record yeah. associated with that member. right this method results in a round robin performance yeah correct and you can you can see the examples if if i talk about so suppose right so suppose the least in the persistence record of the server 1 server 2 and server 3 are 10 10 10 and the persistence record of the server 4 is 17 so obviously Again, the round robin comes into the picture. The, the first packet will come to the server one, second one, second, third one, third, fourth one, first, fifth one, second, and sixth one, third. So, based on round robin, once the persistence record reaches to 17, then it's again fall back to round robin. You know, it will send evenly packets. Right, right, right. Got it. Right. Uh, one question, Alok. Uh, yeah. What is the difference between, from your perspective, what's the difference between the connections and session? Uh, connections you know uh, connection is you can say that a connection is only one connection right if if i if suppose if a server uh, uh, sends a first traffic right to a particular uh, you know uh, a client sends a traffic to a particular server right it makes a connections right and the connection can breaks right but as, when a session is created the whole transaction of a traffic comes into the picture Right, whole transaction. Right, right. Why? Why I am saying that? Why I am saying that? So here, the persistence coming to the picture. In the persistence, what happens? If you are doing a shopping, right, till the time your shopping is not ended, your session is created with only one server, right? So your whole traffic, end to end traffic will be a session but in the connections your first session will go to the first server second one second third one third so it depends right so a connection is in a small nature where a session is a full traffic from end to end till the time your transaction is not completed yeah got it got it okay <clears throat> So now we talked about the list uh, in the in the in the static load balancing. We talked about the round robin and the and and, and the ratio one. In the dynamic load balancing, we talked about the least connections, in fastest connections, and the least session. Least session is as per the persistence record. Fastest session is uh, the servers having the fewest outstanding request layer seven request the server will uh, the, the f5 will send a traffic to them in the least connections 
those having the least connections will come into the picture and again in in all these three the round robin comes into the picture right exactly as a tiebreaker yeah yeah as a tiebreaker now let's move to the another one we call